Hey Brambleton, it's Miss Kaus. And I bet you didn't know it, but the entire month of April is one of my favorite holidays, National School Library Month. Yay! And to celebrate today, even though that we're not together, I thought that we could do my very favorite thing, read a book. We're gonna read this book. It's called Miss Brooks Loves Books and I Don't. It's a hilarious story about a crazy librarian. She's, she's kind of the librarian I wanna be when I grow up. And I thought I could read it to you. So why don't you grab a pillow, maybe a blanket, and sit back and relax while I read you this story. Miss Brooks Loves Books and I Don't. Story by Barbara Botner. Illustration by Michael Everly. Miss Brooks is our librarian. She loves books a lot. She loves the runaway bunny and the bar and where the wild things are and the very hungry caterpillar. I asked Miss Brooks why she dresses up for reading circle. I want you to get as excited about books as I am, she says. I think Miss Brooks gets a little too excited, and I bet her costume itch. Halloween means we each have to find a poem to share, but all the books about witches, ghosts, and goblins are checked out. And I hate pumpkins. So I make up a Halloween poem of my own. Eek! A freak! The class looks at me funny. Miss Brooks says, well, that's a start. All year long, Miss Brooks reads us books. Books about dragons and pilgrims and presidents. Books about love and leprechauns. Groundhogs, even. It's vexing. It's book week! In May, Miss Brooks tells us about something truly terrifying. Book week! You need to pick a favorite story to share with the class. I want you to wear a costume and tell us all about it. Really show us why you love it, she says. I'll never love a book the way you do, I tell Miss Brooks. Don't be so sure, she says. When I get home, I ask my mother if we can move to a new town. My mother says there's a librarian in every town. I ask if she wants to do my assignment for me. I've already been in the first grade, says my mother. Book week! Every single day of book week, kids share stories about trains and fairies and cowboys and dogs. Then, the flower fairy flew out. Giddy up, yippee-yo! And so he said, woof. When Miss Brooks asks what I think, I say, too flowery, too furry, too clickety, too yippity. So, Miss Brooks fills my bag with more books for me to read with my mom. But I don't like any of them. They're too kissy, too pink, and too silly, I tell my mother. You're as stubborn as a wart, she says. Warts? I want to read a story about warts, I shout. My mother finds a book called Shrek. Shrek has hairs on his nose and he snorts. I love that. Can you read it again? I ask. I love this book. I have to practice the words over and over, but my mother helps. Then we make an ogre costume. I make stick on warts for the whole class. When I get to school the next day, I ask Miss Brooks to lend me a hand. When I say the word snort, the whole class snorts. I explain why a stubborn, smelly, snorty ogre searching for a revolting bride makes me laugh. 
Miss Brooks says she's glad I found a book to love. She says that even ogres like me can find something funny and fantastic and appalling in the library. And that is the slimy truth. I hope you guys enjoyed our story and you got a chance to relax. Make sure to check out the Brambleton Library webpage for more information about how we'll be celebrating School Library Month this April. And again, the book we just read was Miss Brooks Loves Books and I Don't by Barbara Botner and Michael Emberley. See you guys later.